G'day there. Today's video is on how to use AI to transcribe podcasts through Obsidian and PKM notes. Now, of course, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe and uh, you know where the buttons are, so I'll leave that to you. So today we're going to be covering uh, finding the podcast links, find the source code for the files that we're looking at, download the MP3 file for the podcast, and run the file through an AI transcription service. We'll also review the generated transcript, and then we might even put some of the notes through ChatGPT. In fact, we will. So links to everything are below, and a link to a full article on the process is also included in the show notes below. So welcome to the video, and let's get into it. My earlier video and article focused on the extraction of a transcription of a podcast, where it was a YouTube video as well. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be a podcast, the system will work for any YouTube video. And if you haven't read the article yet or looked at the video, then I suggest you do so. There's links to it down the bottom of this video here. Now, this video will focus on extracting a transcription from podcasts where they are only available via voice. Some podcasters are kind enough to provide a transcription, but where one doesn't exist, well, this method will allow you to obtain the transcription you need to create notes on the content. Now, podcasts are generally broadcast in an MP3 file format. In fact, that's all I know. So that is what we will be looking for, and here is how you go about it. For the purpose of the exercise, we will use the Practical AI Podcast, Machine Learning and Data Science that you can find on Google Podcasts. And we're going to here's an image here that you can see. Now, at the top of the podcast page, you can see a link to visit website. Now, if you just want to listen to the podcast, then you can do so directly from the Google page. But if you want the transcript, we will have to dig a little deeper. So click on the link to visit website. And in this case, it will take you to the podcast's main page. We will work on the first podcast on the page, which is ChatGPT goes prime time. Now, in the image on screen, you can see the play button to activate the video, and this is linked to the recording. Now, we need to have a look at some code, and there are a couple of ways to do this, but the easiest is to hit F12 on your keyboard. The other alternative is to right-click on the page, and down the bottom of the menu that appears, you'll see Inspect. If you click on that, it will also bring up the developer tools. And the screen here is what you will see. Now click on the window icon on the top left of the code window as shown by the arrow. This will make your mouse live and allow you to select elements on the page. With your mouse live, go and click on the play button for the podcast. Now, don't worry, the podcast won't play, but it will highlight the code that the button is linked to, as you can see on the screen. Now you can click on the code starting with HTTPS and ending on the next line with MP3. That's the file we're after. And then this will open a new window with a podcast player in it. Right, so now you can see the podcast player on screen. Click on the three dots on the right hand side of the player and you can see that you can download the podcast and save it to your hard drive. So go and do that. That's the next step. Now that's the end of the digging into the code bit. So yes, it may seem a little daunting if you haven't done it before, but the more often you do it, the easier it becomes, of course. And if you don't, and if you haven't done it before, then pat yourself on the back. Well done. Okay, well, the next thing to do is to organize the transcript. So we're going to load the file that you've downloaded to a transcription service. There are a number of these around, and Otter AI seems to be very popular. They offer a free account. Another service is Airgram, who also offer a free account and more uploads than Otter 2. Set an account up at either one of these and upload your file. It may take a while to transcribe the podcast depending on its length and how busy the servers are at the time. Now I'll put links to both services in the show notes to the video here. When I was preparing this video yesterday, I actually did a short run of uploading the podcast. So I'm loading that here so you can see what I did. And you can just head off and do something else once your podcast has been loaded and you'll get an email when the transcript is, is ready. 
Okay, so that's pretty easy. So now we can see on screen a screenshot of the Airgram site where I processed the podcast. And the uh, interface may look a little different to Otter. In, so where the transcription is listed, you can hover over a section and it allows you to highlight it, make a note or a comment, and add an action item. The scissors let you create snippets that you can share. And here's a short video on that section that I recorded yesterday as well. So I'll be putting that into this one. So now that we have our transcript, let's extract a part of it and see what ChatGPT has to say. We'll see what we can find out about reinforcement learning from human intervention. This is a bit of a complex term that has been explained in detail in the podcast. And to find the relevant parts, I simply use the search function, as you can see from the screenshot. Now, several of the specific parts of the transcript have been identified, so we will copy these and feed them into ChatGPT. It's not all of them, but it's enough to give ChatGPT a bit of an idea of what we're after. So on screen now, you can see the input where I've prefaced the copied text by saying, using the following input, explain reinforcement learning from human intervention, and then I've pasted the copied text in. Now, you may not be able to read all the outputs, so it's included here as ChatGPT's explanation on RLHF. I won't read out what ChatGPT responded, but I will put it in the show notes below, just so that if you can't see it on screen, you'll be able to read what ChatGPT said. So there you go. It was worthwhile getting up this morning just to learn that, wasn't it? Now, the process may seem a rather convoluted way of getting a transcript when it is described this way, but experience certainly speeds it up a lot and you will have all your notes organised efficiently. It will be much simpler when all podcasts have transcripts, but until that time, a searchable transcript is a great way to generate ideas and thoughts on your podcast learnings. Well, that's a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out the show notes for all the links. Oh, and just a little reminder to like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.